Hey everyone, in this quick video we're going to discuss how to update character creator character files to Omniverse via LiveSync. Let's start by going to the Drive tab and selecting Launch to create a virtual drive from our PC. If we try to sign in right now, we'll get an error message. This is because we first need to open the Omniverse system monitor. Once we do that, then we can log in successfully. First, I'm going to assign a part of the local disk to a cloud server called F. After I do, you'll see it appear in Explorer with the same structure as your local host folder in Omniverse Create. The next step is to export our USD file to the virtual disk. We can use the USD export shortcut from the toolbar in Character Creator and choose the following export options. To learn more about export options, please check out our tutorial on that specific topic. We'll export him to our user folder right now, and then go ahead and open Omniverse Create. Once it's loaded up, we can find our USD file in the local host folder and double click to load him up in the viewport. If we want our character to be able to update, then we need to remember to turn on the Live Sync feature. You can do this at the top right of the Omniverse Create window. Notice that the mouse over message states that we can change the live mode for individual layers in the layer window. So let's head over there and set Live Sync to Always On. After that's done, we can go into Character Creator and change our character's clothing. For now, I'm just going to make a simple shirt change and then go ahead and re export the USD with the same settings. If I choose to overwrite the same character USD we exported earlier, once the export is finished, we can then head into Create to see that the character has been updated, complete with a nice new denim shirt. In addition to wardrobe changes, you can actually replace the entire character as well. On the screen now, we have a completely different character. I'm going to go ahead and export the same way I did before, ensuring that I use the same name and overwrite the previous USD. Once we do this, you'll see that the entire character has changed, as well as the pose. This makes updating USD files in your project super quick and easy, allowing for a more flawless and simple workflow pipeline between Character Creator and Omniverse. That's it for this video, guys. Please make sure to check out our other Omniverse related tutorial videos for more cool tips and tricks on using the Character Creator and Omniverse production pipeline. I'll see you in the next video.